Hey guys, welcome back everybody. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video, we are going to understand how to configure OSPF on VSS through CLI. In the previous video, we had seen the OSPF configuration for internal and external routing on VSS through templates, through feature templates. And today we are going to configure it through CLI. Okay, so as you can see, I have some internal routers like uh, internal router in branch 1 is BR1, internal router in branch 2 is BR2 and internal router in data center is R2. These all internal routers are connected with my VSS like branch 1 VS is connected with BR1 router and guys I have al already configured OSPF on all the internal routers like on BR1, BR2 and R2 OSPF is already running. Right. But there is no OSPF neighborship between VS and branch 1 router because OSPF is not running on VSS. Okay. So to verify it here, I can show you branch 1 router OSPF neighborship. So IP OSPF neighbor, you can see we don't have any neighbor here. And so IP OSPF interface brief, you can see OSPF is enabled on all the loopback interfaces as well as on the physical interface F0 slash 0 which is connected with my VH. In the same way, you can check I2 branch 2 router. So IP OSPF interface brief, OSPF is enabled. So IP OSPF neighbor, we don't have any neighborship. And on R2 also, let me show you. So IP OSPF neighbor, no neighbor. So IP OSPF interface brief, OSPF is enabled. Guys, before starting the configuration, you can see here OSPF, sorry, SD WAN overlay, connect, overlay network, right? Overlay connection. So between all VSS and VSmart, we have OMP pairing through the control connection. Like data center VS have one OMP pairing with VSmart. BR1 router. BR1 VH have one OMP pairing with VSmart in the same way BR2 VS have one OMP pairing with VSmart. This is for the control plane, right? Like how these sites are going to learn remote site prefixes. So let me give you one example. Like you can see we have some prefixes in branch one. How these prefixes will be learned by branch two in the branch to this router, how it is going to learn. So this VH is going to advertise these prefixes to VSmart through this OMP pairing and after that VSmart will advertise it to this branch branch to VH right and here between branch VH and the internal router I will con configure OSPF then we'll redistribute OMP into OSPF because by default OMP will be not, re not redistributed in OSPF by default your OSPF will be redistributed into OMP right so once you will configure OSPF here this VS will redistribute all the prefixes of OSPF in OMP. So this VS will learn these all prefixes through OSPF neighborship from internal router. After that, it will redistribute it into OMP protocol. Then VSmart will learn it. VSmart is going to advertise it to other neighbor to data center VS and this side VS. But data center VS and this side side to VH, like branch to VS, is not going to redistribute. OMP prefix in OSPF. So here we are going to redistribute as well OMP into OSPF with the help of CLI only. With the help of CLI on, because you know in ST WAN, whenever you will work on the real time network, you will have both access. Sometime you will be working through GUI, through you will be accessing your device through vManage GUI access, and sometime you will be using CLI also for the troubleshooting. Okay, so let's understand today how to configure OSPF through CLI. This is my overlay network guys and for the data plane, all the branch, all the, all the VSS have IPsec tunnel, right? This is full mesh topology. You can see data center VH and branch one VH has one IPsec tunnel and inside this IPsec tunnel, BFD protocol is running, right? Like all the VSS have IPsec tunnel with other VSS. To verify this configuration, when we can verify these all things here before starting let me access any router any VH like 
let's say branch 1 vh here if you will check so omp peering omp's peer peers so you can see this vs has omp peering with 2.2.2 vs smart through this peering only it will advertise the prefixes then branch 2 vh so omp peering so yes here also you can see there is pairing with 2.2.2 and on DC VH also you can check so OMP peers right so all the VHS has OMP pairing with VA smart now you can verify BFD BFD session so BFD session so you can see guys branch 1 VH has one BFD session with 4.4.4 which is the VH of data center then 2 OMP session with 6.6.6 .6 which is the side to branch 2 VH right one via biz internet via internet and one via MPLS okay all are working fine but it is not learning any prefix through OMP protocol now if you will check BR1 VH OMP routing table so IP route OMP so you can see there is nothing in the table it is not learning any prefix through OMP protocol reason we have not configured the service VPN till now on any VH okay so that's why it is not learning any prefix now without wasting our time let's begin let's start configuration of OSPF from DCVH so let me take you to DCVH here I am going to say see first of all I will enable OSPF on interface which is connected with LAN device with router right means I need to create one service VPN let me cre create service VPN 10 I'm going to add which interface in this VPN g0 slash 1 of DC VH because g0 slash 1 is connected with R2 so say g0 slash 1 no such and guys I am going to configure one IP here which is 10 dot 12 dot 1 dot 1 slash 24 right so I have added the interface in service VPN and then I have configured the IP address there now I need to enable OSPF right in VPN 10 which is my service VPN so again say VPN 10 and I am saying router OSPF router OSPF and let it enter after that I am going to define area here area will be 0 and then which interface GE 0 by 1 once I will hit enter after in this command you will have OSPF neighborship between DCVH and your internal router before running this command if you will verify do so OSPF neighbor so you can see there is nothing right so let me run the command area 0 and uh, then interface GE 0 by 1 now again I am going to show you the OSPF neighborship see no no neighborship because I then commit so let me commit commit the configuration now you can see do so OSPF neighbor soon OSPF neighborship will come up here let me try to ping the one 10.12.1.2 destination unreachable why I am not able to ping do so VPN 10 do so run VPN 10 so this interface is no such IP is correct everything looks fine here VPN 10 interface G0 by 1 G0 by 1 set see the OSPF configuration under OSPF we have this interface mm -hmm. okay do ping here I have to define the VPN VPN 10 and then you can see there is reachability let me verify the OSPF neighborship now so as you can see now we have OSPF neighborship and guys if we have the OSPF neighborship I am expecting this 30 prefix in the routing table of this DC VH so so IP route OSPF and you can see I am learning the 30 prefix now now automatically this VS will redistribute OSPF into OMP okay so on VA smart you can verify the routing table OMP routing table it should learn this prefix 30 prefix 
admin admin and then say so ip route omp protocol no route is there no route is there so omp pairing so this router have the omp pairing with 4.4.4 .4. now why we smart don't have the route because redistribution right by default OMP will be redistributed into OSPF, but OM OSPF will be not redistributed into OMP. Okay, no, no. By default, OSPF will be redistributed into OMP. OMP will be not redistributed into OSPF. So we as smart should learn this prefix. Mm -hmm. Here we are not able to see the prefix. Just wait. For now, I am going to configure OSPF on branch one VH first. Branch one VH. Here also I am going to create service VPN 10 then interface GE 0 by 2 here interface 0 by 2 say no set and the IP address is 10.10.1.1 10 slash 24 do ping VPN 10 and 10.10.1.2 10 let me check okay commit And now let me try to ping 10 dot 10 dot under VPN 10 10 dot 10 dot 1 dot 2 the IP is correct do so run a VPN 10 so under VPN 10 we have this IP 10 dot 10 dot 1 dot correct mm -hmm. so do ping vpn 10 and 10 dot 10 dot 1 dot 2 yeah now you can see ping is working now let me configure the ospf here so to configure ospf i am going to say router router ospf then area 0 and I am going to add interface GE 0 by 2 here done commit and do so IP route OMP yes now you can see this VS is learning this 30 submit 30.1.1.0 through OMP protocol correct on the VS mart why we are not able to see the prefix VS smart should also have this prefix so IP route 30 subnet is not there there is one default route a static default route on the VS smart okay leave it for now see here we are able to see the data center prefix right through OMP protocol now will this router this branch 1 vs advertise to the internal router or not it will not advertise because redistribution is needed here so here we can check so ip route ospf so ip route ospf prefix is not there right even on the branch 1 vh you can check ospf routing table so ip route ospf so it is learning all internal 30 prefixes 30 sorry 10 prefixes 10.1.1.0 10.1.2.0 10.1.3.0 and it is advertising to VS smart and VS smart will be advertising to data center VH so let me take you to R2 which is the internal order of data center here so IP route OSPF here you can see I am not learning any remote side prefix let me take you the VH of data center here you can say so IP route OMP so you can see this router is learning all 10 prefixes 10.1.0.2.0.3.0 right but guys here now we need to redistribute OMP into OSPF so let me say again VPN 10 and I am going to say router OSPF redistribute which protocol OMP protocol now I have redistributed OMP protocol here let me commit commit and after that I am going to check the internal order of data center 
R2 and so IP route and now you can see I am learning all the remote side prefixes here right same thing I need to do on branch 1 VH so let me take you to branch 1 VH and on branch 1 VH and before redistribution you can verify the BR1 router which is the internal router in branch 1 so IP route OSPF it is not learning any prefix correct now guys here I am going to say VPN 10 and router OSPF redistribute OMP protocol commit now here I am expecting prefixes just wait for some time yes now you can see I have received the 30 prefix prefix of data center and now these two sides can communicate with each other let me try to ping 30.1.1.1 and I am saying source 10.1.1.1 so you can see these two sides are able to communicate like data center and branch 1 fine now we need to configure OSPF on this branch 2 VH so let me access branch 2 VH and config T VPN 10 interface G 0 by 2 no set IP address 10.11.1.1 slash 24 do ping vpn 10 and 10.11.1.2 10 wait it will ping will work commit this ping will work it will take some time yeah now you can see ping is working now guys the next thing is the OSPF configuration so say router OSPF router OSPF area 0 and interface G 0 by 2 I have added this interface now soon OSPF neighborship will come up between this VH and internal router do so OSPF neighbor OSPF neighbor is not there wait for some time okay commit commit is done so IP OSPF now you can see we have the OSPF neighborship here and do so IP route OSPF this auto is learning all the 20 prefixes right all these 20 prefixes now your internal router branch 2 BR2 router will be not learning any prefix BR2 router somewhere BR2 here it is so you can see the log message of OSPF neighborship so IP OSPF neighbor done and so IP route OSPF it is not learning any prefix because we need redistribution here so exit I am under now VPN 10 under VPN 10 I am going to say router router OSPF redistribute OMP protocol done I have added this command let me commit it and now you can check the routing table of your internal router in branch 2 BR2 so IP route OSPF you can see it is learning all the prefixes of side 1 branch 1 as well as prefix of data center so now these guys can communicate with each other ping 30.1.1.1 and source 20.1.1.1 you can see ping is working ping 10.1.1.1 source 20.1.1.1 so branch 1 and branch 2 both are able to communicate with each other both branches are able to communicate with data center also so guys this was the OSPF configuration on VSS through CLI that's all for today if you have learned something from this video please hit on like button if you have not subscribed this channel till now please subscribe this channel guys we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye that's all for today thanks for watching